Today we're doing a beauty shoot with Zaya and the focus of our story is going to be on contouring. So the importance of contouring actually helps you emphasize and refine the facial features. Before you do any of the contouring, you really should start with a full base of foundation to start with anyway, so that way you actually have something to blend all of the contours in because if you don't and you're trying to blend it into the natural skin, you'll find that some areas it will take better than others. So first we're going to start with contouring the nose and I always like to use a colour that is kind of a little bit more ashy, a little bit greyer in tone rather than anything too warm and yellow because it looks um, more like a shadow. So I'm going to start on this side of the nose and it's good to draw a line straight from the centre of the eyebrows down the edge of the nose and then we're going to eventually blend this out and downwards. Then once you've created these lines in here, you can go through with your finger and just blend them down and outwards. So you can't see where the line starts or finishes. And if you want a harsher look, so something that's more for stage, you can leave a more crisp line across the top. So next we're going to work on emphasizing the cheekbone. So you start generally by creating almost a straight line that's going to start right up at the top of the ear and actually follow the cheekbone to start with. Once you actually create a line where the natural cheekbone is, you can choose to push it up a little higher if you like as well. Then go a little bit more intensely right underneath the cheekbone at the side, just to hollow out the cheeks a little bit. So the next area that um, I sometimes contour, but not all the time, is the temple. But I do leave out the area of the cheekbone so it looks like the cheekbone continues up. So I like to go just over here above the brow on the side. And if someone has a high forehead, you take that all the way up across the forehead as well. And the final area of contouring that we can do, once again, not on everyone, is the jawline. Where you want to blend it definitely downwards, you can create a sharper line, but then you need to make sure you blend it out so you don't see where that line finishes. So now the opposite of the contour is of course the highlight, which you can do if you want to intensify the contouring, or you can actually do it in place of the contouring if you want to start with a natural base of foundation and then just highlight the other areas. Um, you don't need to do the contouring, but if you want a really strong contour, I suggest the best way is to do both. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. You can do like a little line down the top of the nose. Obviously with a lighter colour, and I tend for, for highlighting to be a little bit of a pink base. A little bit of a section in between the eyes, of course along the cheekbone because we want them to always look nice and highlighted and high. I take them right out, a little bit on the base of the chin, and then a little bit on the top of the lip. You can also go back to your foundation sponge, which you applied the original foundation with, and just work those highlights in and blend them into the base. So now we're going to go through with a translucent powder and just set the highlights and the contours. Make sure you, with your finger, smush out any kind of little lines or creases that have happened in the base because once you set them, they'll stay there. This is a really good brush, a big fan brush for contouring the cheekbones because it automatically creates those lines. Start at the ear and just kind of dust it down the edge of the cheekbone like that. To give it an even more highlighted and contoured look, you can take a shimmer a light shimmer colour that shines across some of the highlighted areas as well. Okay, so now we've finished with the highlights and the contours. Um, I'm going to go out for the photo shoot. We've done more of a monochromatic look to the face. We haven't added any blush or any colour to it and just kept it as a nude lip because we want it to be all about the different shades of the skin tone. So we're done.